In this video, we're going to be talking about long-term storage. So long in in the last video we talked about short-term storage, right? Memory, RAM. In this video, we're going to be talking about long-term storage. And you have different you have two mainly two different types of long-term storage. Really, you have about four. You have hard drives which is short for HDD, hard drive, disk. You have SSDs, solid state drives. You have USB, flash drives. And then you have CDs, disk drives or whatever, right? Disks are, you know, the long-term storage. You write to them. They're kind of hard to rewrite, but you can do it. it. Just takes a while, and they're mostly for reading from it, watching videos and stuff. Flash drives or USBs are for, um, I guess, small, portable, very small amount of storage, but they also can store things for a long time. Just don't have a corrupt one <laughs> or else your data is gone <laughs> and they get corrupt a lot so you gotta be careful hard drives are storage that usually sits in your computer but they can actually set outside of your computer that's called an external hard drive this the one you're looking at here is an internal hard drive and actually they actually use disks so I think they call them I forgot what they call them. I'm not going to say the wrong word, but they look like disks. And this is what they call a head. And it's actually reading the disk. And there's actually multiple of them in there. So it has a lot of moving parts. And as you can see down here, it has a chart. The cost is cheaper than this thing. This thing is called solid state drive. This is actually, think of think of it as a hard drive but without moving parts and it's super fast super fast so as you can see the cost is cheaper than the solid state drive the speed is f slower than the solid state drive the solid state drive or the ssd is actually super fast like i said before capacity the hard drives can hold more um, and you're about to see in a minute the solid state drives are actually smaller thinner and faster but the hard drives are bigger hold way more space but they can break more easily because they have the moving parts and they can make a lot of noise sometimes as you can see down here noise and temperature the SSD wins because there's no moving parts and uh, it's smaller it has some chips it's easier to cool, easier to keep cool. Encryption, they both have good protection and encryption, and the failure rate is pretty good on both of them. But the SSD, you might can argue, have a better, uh, in terms of failure rate, it, it might be better because the, SS, uh, the hard drive had moving parts that can compromise it right as you can see down here the hard drive is bigger than the SSD the SSD is pretty small and as you can see it has memory there so it all goes back to memory right it was just talking about memory right here they call it platters you got the spin thing you got the head the arm and this vibrates a lot so take that into consideration this has no moving parts so you don't have to worry about it down here ssd stands for solid state drive ssd consists of electrical parts ssd is expensive ssd is available in compact sizes and is relatively fast not relatively it is very fast right but there is things faster than it the hard drive stands for hard disk drive. 
The hard drive consists of moving mechanical parts like the arm and the disc. Hard drives are inexpensive compared to SSDs, and the hard drive is comparably uh, larger and is slower than the SSD. So I hope that made sense. I hope uh, you kind of understand what type of storage you're working with. And whenever we write some software, we're going to be saving our code files to a hard drive. But the code that we're running is going to be running in RAM, short-term storage. So, yeah. Let's get into some other stuff. But I hope that made sense, and I'll see you in the next one.